Welcome back. Now if it now I've already posted the Top Gun video, the Top Gun reaction video, the rea reaction video to the Top Gun Maverick trailer that came out at Comic Con, and now I'm back because another trailer has also dropped. I'm we're gonna watch we're gonna watch the final trailer, even though we only had like two trailers of this from this movie. The final trailer for It Chapter 2. We're heading back down to Derry, Maine, where the Losers Club is all grown up to defeat Pennywise once and for all. And yes, I still have the book. And yeah, is by the way, kids, if you want to read the book, this is literally how many pages there are. So, It Chapter 2 is the sequel to the, I don't know if I should call it a remake or a second adapt, adapt or film adaptation, because there's already, like, a TV miniseries adaptation of It in 1990, and, and it was, and that version is, like, burned into our brains. It's the only known version of, like, adaptation of It in Especially our favorite version of Pennywise is always Tim Curry. And every time I always do an impression of Pennywise, I always do it in style of Tim Curry. Like I've seen a kid last year, on, like two years ago on Halloween, I see a kid dress up as, as Georgie from... I see a kid dress up as Georgie from the... From it, from the... From this the new it re movie and i was going like hey georgie you want a balloon we all float down here and if you'll come with us you'll float too beep beep richie oh <laughs> uh, yeah so i've i've seen the movie and it's I'm surprised that it didn't suck. It was actually real. It was actually good. It was really good. It has a lot of elements of what reminds me of the Stand by Me movie, which is also based on a Stephen King novel. I like how they focus on like the coming, how they the book now the book set took place in like the fifties and then happened years later in the eighties. The recent it movies the, the the first it movie no wait the most recent it movie or as i now had to call it it chapter one takes place in the 80s while the upcoming it chapter two takes place in today take place yeah it takes place today so the losers club is all grown up and then most of the new losers club. I'm surprised we have actors like James McAvoy, Jess Jessica Chastain, and Bill Hader. I'm surprised from, about those ca casting. I was like, I was mostly surprised of Bill Hader because I've never seen him in a horror movie. Plus, it's his first time in a horror movie. I've read. I think it was in a Conan or a Fallon interview. I think it was a Conan interview. Yeah, he did an interview with Conan. And like he said, he sucks at being scared. <laughs> you should have seen his face. Uh, just look up. Um, just look up any interview with uh, Bill Hader. Uh, for it. Uh, either Conan or Jimmy Fallon or Jimmy Kimmel. I think it was. I'm pretty sure it was Conan. Just look up like Bill Hader, Conan, it chapter two. You'll probably find it. So anyway, let's. Let's float on down here and just watch this trailer already. Here we go. All right. Something happens to you when you leave this town. Oh yeah, and the, the younger version of the Losers Club are still gonna be in this movie. Flashbacks. Kids gone missing.
to the losers. <laughs> okay you got me convinced there I'll probably go see this movie hopefully this this might not be my first horror movie I got to get to see in the theater originally I wanted to see Halloween 2018 Halloween but bad grades and parents wouldn't let me because of that bad grade I was pissed and and then I get going to, and then I ended up seeing the movie when it came out on DVD. So, who knows what will be my first horror movie I get to see in the theaters? Either this movie or Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. I already know what my first R-rated movie I'm going to go see. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Anyway, I'm excited for this. I'm. We're definitely gonna go see this. Let's. By the way. Oh yeah, and also one, one last thing that. This is the only thing that Warner Brothers is gonna drop at Comic Con because, they dropped, like the whole studio just, just dropped out. No DC. Which means where you're not gonna get any. Yeah, Warner Brothers dropped out of Comic Con despite having big projects that are gonna come out. Especially Wonder Woman 1984, Birds of Prey, James Gunn's Suicide Squad, especially one I'm excited for, which is Matt Reeves' Batman. And you know how much I love Batman. I love Batman. Oh, yeah, and there's also the Joker movie, which I'm really excited about. Definitely gonna go see this, the Joker movie. But anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video. Comment down below what you think. Are you excited for this movie? And don't forget to subscribe. Click the notification bell. And I will see you on the other side where we all float too.